What is up guys, Mace here, and today, man, I'm gonna show you guys how to improve your FPS in Modern Warfare 2. If you do get into this video, go down below and hit that like button, man. That'll be greatly appreciated, and let's try to go 15 likes on today's video. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 12k subs, man. That'll be greatly appreciated. So yeah, man, let's get straight into these settings. All right, guys, now we're gonna be starting off with the display settings. So for the display mode, this is gonna be super, super important. So you wanna be, you wanna put this to full screen exclusive. For the sake of this video, I have this on full screen borderless since i am recording on my second monitor but if you want to get very very good frames put it to full screen exclusive and i used to play on full screen borderless when i wasn't making videos and all that and it really affected my fps so go ahead and put it to full screen exclusive display monitor is just going to be whatever monitor you're running display adapter this is just going to be your graphics card so whatever graphics card you have is going to show up here now your screen refresh rate so this is going to be set to whatever your monitor refresh rate is for example mine is a 165 hertz monitor so it did lock in into 164.917 this now display resolutions whatever the game is being played at so if you are playing on 1440p you do want to go ahead and select that option um but for me i'm playing in 1080 so i did go ahead with this now, for dynamic resolution i recommend you turn this off um this pretty much means that your game is pretty much just going to try to lower the resolution while while you're playing so it can get the desired frame rate that you do want pretty much man while turning on this setting it's gonna make the game look very very bad pretty much you guys can see in this on the side it says 50 percent of the rendering resolution so it's not gonna look good at all don't keep the don't keep the setting on for aspect ratio i have it on automatic um you could keep it at wide 16 by 9 which is pretty much what most people are going to be playing on but i just keep automatic and if you do have a widescreen monitor you do want to select you know 21 by nine whatever your monitor uh pretty much has now next two options is going to be vsync gameplay and menu so do you want do you want to go ahead and keep this off um this is probably going to be the worst thing to have because this is going to cause input lag and you do not want input lag when you're playing cod man it's really just the, one of the worst settings you could have so go ahead turn these two settings off custom frame rate limit so this is super important so for the gameplay custom frame rate limit i set this to all the way to max at 300 the menu i keep it at 100 um i don't like using a lot of my resources just in the menus um i do want to max it out definitely in the game out of focus custom frame rate i just keep that default which is 30. now i set to 300 for the gameplay custom limit just because i don't want the game to limit itself especially for frames i want to get all the frames i can get you know when i'm in the game now the last setting for the display is going to be brightness so you do want to go here and you do want to look at the second box now this setting for on your screen this box should be barely visible um you should still slight slightly see the call of duty logo but not like way too much now for my monitor i have it at 50 and that works perfect for me all right guys now that's pretty much it for the display settings man let's get straight into the quality settings all right guys so these are going to be the quality settings man let's get straight to it now the first setting i do want to go over is going to be upscaling slash sharpening now this is really just going to depend on your graphics card how old is it how new is it um it's really just going to depend on that if you guys have anything above a 2080 2090 um if anything above that whether that's the 30 series 40 series highly recommend go and put fidelity cast on as you turn that on you guys will see the setting for the strength um now any number can work but i highly recommend anything above 90 is going to look great what this setting does right here is pretty much just going to sharpen in your game it's really just gonna look amazing man you're gonna see a lot of people a lot better and it's not really gonna affect your frames that much now if you guys have an older graphics card such as me i have a 2060 you guys want to go and try out a amd fsr 1.0 you do put that on put it to ultra quality and that's pretty much it now let me tell you guys i switched from fidelity cast to fsr and i got a lot of frames man i mean my frames have jumped from literally 30 to 40 frames higher than what it was before only downside to to this it does take a little bit of the quality but it's hardly noticeable and if you guys really want very good frames if you're playing warzone ranked all of that put it to amd fsr it's really just going to help you gain a lot of frames for anti-aliasing i keep this on filmic sma t2x now you could keep it at the first option but it's really just going to make a lot of like jaggedy dots just on your screen so i keep it at filmic and it looks really good for me for the quality i keep this on normal i don't really recommend you keep this on high or ultra quality uh normal honestly just is the best for me for video memory scale i keep this on 
I keep this on 80. This is just gonna pretty much set how much VRAM you want to use for Modern Warfare 2. If you have a very high-end graphics card, you could keep this number a little bit higher, but I recommend just set it around 80. Um, it's really just not gonna this is the best setting to not give you stutters and frame drops. So definitely do go ahead and put this on right here all right guys now i'm gonna be going over the details and textures now for texture resolution keep this on low um you guys can see on the right man it's gonna have a lot of effect on your vram as well as your cpu um so do, go ahead keep this on low um i don't recommend very low because it really makes the game like very very bad and it, the visuals are just terrible um keep this on low it's really just going to increase your frames by a lot and it's going to make a huge difference now for the texture filter uh and a tropic i keep this on normal i think it's like right in the middle between the game looking absolutely terrible and looking great so go ahead put it on normal it's going to give you decent very good decent frames now for the nearby level of detail and distance these two settings are just pretty much not really just going to make a huge difference whether you keep it low or keep it high um but personally for me man even if i get like five to ten frames of a difference that's just gonna help me a lot so go ahead put this on low these two settings are pretty much just pointless now for particle quality i keep this on low as well as the particle quality level it has a decent like it has a very decent effect on the gpu and i don't want my frames dropping so go ahead put this on low now for bullet impacts i keep i just keep this on um you guys can see on the right side man it doesn't have a very huge effect on the gpu and you know what it just adds some detail to the game that i do honestly want so go ahead put put the setting to on now for persistent damage layers i believe they just added this setting and has a very very decent effect on your vram so i actually keep this on off now pretty much this setting means is that whenever there's any explosions it's going to leave some type of effect on the surfaces um it's really not important i mean it's not going to help you guys out when you're playing so just keep this off your frames are 100 percent increase um if the setting is off for shader quality now a lot of different people um have been switching this around between low medium and high um i noticed personally after the season 2 update that low is going to be the best option when i did keep this on medium or high just to test it out um my frames were just dropping like crazy i actually was also getting stutters as well definitely go ahead put the setting to low now for tessellation i keep this on off you guys can see man has a medium effect on both the vram and the gpu as well personally i don't even care about the water i mean it's not going to help me get kills so just keep this off you will also notice that your frames are going to increase from the setting as well well. for terrain memory i actually keep this on max um i want pretty much pretty much what this does is going to set the memory size on all the terrains and textures in this game so um i really don't recommend you change this keep this on max keep it the way it is now, on demand texture streaming um this is a very debated setting a lot of people talk about this um this is a setting that you do need to keep off um pretty much man if you do keep this on your game is going to be loading textures as soon as you load in um into your game whether that's warzone or anything you're playing um you do want to keep the setting to off for streaming quality and volumetric quality man these two settings have a huge effect on your graphics card so go definitely go ahead and put these two settings to low the physics quality as well as the water um just keep these two settings off i don't recommend you really put them on it's pretty much pointless all these shadow settings man are having gonna make a very very big difference on your graphics card it's gonna use a lot of resources that you don't want this video is specifically for for getting the best frames possible as well as a little bit of visual settings now once you do turn these settings all the way to low you will definitely notice your frames just jumping like crazy now for screen space reflections as well as the reflection quality i keep this on high game looks very bad actually if you do keep this off just because there's like there's no reflections over the surfaces there's like nothing like that because there's like no reflections and i really did notice the visuals are very bad so highly recommend definitely go ahead put these two settings on high the weather grid volumes keep the setting right here on off all right guys now for the nvidia reflex low latency this is going to be a very important setting now um if you guys do have a very low cpu um but you have a very high end graphics card um keep this on on plus boost if you both if both of your graphics card and cpu are decent and they work very very well um keep the setting on on overall man these settings this setting right here is just really just going to help your latency you're going to get no input lag and you're just going to get no delay at all depth of field keep the setting on off you guys can see man there is a bit of a blur um if you do have the setting on so go ahead keep this off now, world motion blur as well as weapon motion blur keep these two on off you don't want blur when you're playing this game it's one of the worst things you can have 
now film grain keep this all the way to zero um you do not want to be raising this keep this to zero you're gonna get no like dots on your screen film grain any of that just keep that off these are my field of view settings i keep this on 120 with affected my weapon field of view is wide my third person field of view is going to be a 90 um and now my camera movement these two settings need to be 50 um if it's not 50 you guys will notice that your camera your movement is going to be a lot shaky so keep this to 50 your idiot transition i have this at third person and specter camera i have it on game perspective uh, that is pretty much it for the video hope you did enjoy man um if you guys want more videos like this tips and tricks anything related to warzone or modern warfare 2 man let me know down in the comments and i will see you guys in the next one peace